Hi and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. A longtime public works employee retires after 35 years of service. And we'll take you to the ceremony. We told you earlier of how the Papillion Area Lions Club offers free vision and hearing screening to our local schools. We hear what the school district's director of student services has to say about the service. And the annual celebration, Winter Wonderland, was held over Thanksgiving weekend. We sit down with the Papillion Community Foundation Executive Director and look back at this past event and how things went. These stories are next in City Happenings for the week of March 6th. Thanks, Mayor Black. After 35 years at the City's Public Works Department, Jerry Mattis retires. Public Works Director Marty Lemming recalls a humorous moment during Jerry's career. And then the sonic boom. Uh, back in 99, our last time we held our cleanup days down at the old sewer plant down in that area he started a little he soaked it down with a little diesel fuel a little gas and he lit it and about 10 minutes later the phones were ringing from Fort Calhoun to Fremont to <laughs> whatever but there was just a little boom he was instrumental and in, we used to have an old we used to treat our own sewer when we started we knocked in the we did de, we decommissioned that sewer plant and the pipes there and then his last project that he was instrumental in and I we've kind of just named it the Gowan Hoynes practice fields down there by Papio Bay but those were that was the first project that uh, we gave you blueprints on I believe that was the only one. you know so <laughs> you can keep them and that so it's uh it's just it's just with great emotions and my utmost honor that you know I give, you know, Jerry, that, you know, you're going to get presented the first annual Golden Shovel Award that we put together for the... And I'll just re read what's... Just says, 35 years of excellence presented to Jerry Matthews on February 7, 2017. In sincere gratitude for your history of outstanding service, dedication, talent, and expertise you have left your mark on the city of Papillion through your extraordinary efforts and countless projects that have greatly benefited the Papillion community. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. But for all that, I guess all I can say is thank you very much. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, learned a lot. This is a great city. And I've lived here all my life. And when I started here, well, when I got out of high school, I got drafted, went to service. And when I got out of there, I said, I'm never going to work for the government again. <laughs> I worked, I worked for Omaha for 10 years, and I've been here 35, so I guess the old saying of never say never. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's been a lot of fun, and I appreciate everything everybody's done for me, and I just, again, want to thank you very much. The Papillion Area Alliance Club offers free vision and hearing screening to local schools. The district's director of student services shares what he thought when the Lions came to him with their offer. Well, I think the first reaction was this is perfect. I think we have been, we have a lot of things that go on in the school district and schools are a partnership with the community, uh, parents particularly, but we also partner with businesses and um, in this particular example, a community group. So his timing was perfect. It was like it was meant to be. Our nurses do a lot of things um, in the way of screenings for different health screenings for kids at different ages. And this was a perfect way to partner with them and um, get them to help us with some of those screenings. The fact that this service is free really changes the dynamic. It's not costing us anything. So as school districts, we tend to like things like that. Um, and so they've been very professional. They're a very well-run organization. Bond says the process is almost seamless. They come in 
almost like a school picture day and come into buildings, work through the classrooms in coordination with the health office, the school nurse in the building, and do a high quality service. Um, it helps our nurses manage the loan of the, the load of the screenings and it provides parents with useful information about their child's health. It's amazing to watch the interaction between the youngsters and the Lions Club members. I think the service is great, but it's also, I'm sure, the Lions Club members get something out of it too. It's whenever we can bring people into the building, um, particularly if some of these folks involved in this uh, community group don't have kids in the building right now, to be able to interact with students is always fun. Um, uh, I'm sure they enjoy working with the kids as much as we appreciate having the service. It's been a little more than three months since the city's annual Winter Wonderland. The Community Foundation's Executive Director takes a look back. It just continues to grow every year. The addition of the Chili Feed was a great way to bring people in our community together for a little bit of fellowship and food and it's really fun. I mean it's a completely different spirit than Papillion Days. It's, it's focused on community togetherness but it lacks commercialism. So we're really focusing on the holiday feel. One thing that hasn't changed is the great cooperation with the city. It is huge. We couldn't do it without the support of the city of Papillion. Of course, they put up all the lights, which is the main attraction to this event. Ames also thanks volunteers, sponsors, and the foundation board of directors. She encourages people to continue their support. She says if you've never experienced Winter Wonderland, you need to. It's just so much fun and something that everybody in town should see. It really, it's just fun. At our last city council meeting in February, we recognized the fine sponsors of our Sumter Amphitheater and our Road Race Series events. These fine folks help to make all of these events possible, as well as remaining at a high quality. We are so thankful for their sponsorship. Those events are just a few of the things happening in Papillion during the year. Stay up to date with what's going on, and there are lots of ways to do it. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.